Hey guys, Angela here and welcome to another weekly vlog. It is Tuesday, like normal, I can't remember the day. It may be like the 17th or 18th, the date will go here, we know this. Um, and I am preparing to sit down and do quite a bit of work. I have a lot of work to do, uh, but I have on a whole outfit. Well, I don't have any shoes, but I have on a whole outfit because um, I am filming a what I wore in a week video. So I am putting on clothes every day uh, this week. And it's for a video, but it's also because I have a lot of work to do. And so I have this philosophy that when I'm really busy, I have a lot of work to do and I need to get motivated. When I look good, I feel good. Um, and so one of the ways that I look good is I get myself dressed in things that I absolutely like. So this is what is happening with this outfit here. Um, I won't go into details about the outfit. Maybe I will, because maybe you won't watch that video, but this is a um, satiny shirt. It's not satin, it's 100% polyester. Watch the video to talk about how I feel about the shirt being 100% polyester. Um, and then I have on these Abercrombie and Fitch jeans. I showed y'all maybe two, two? Um, vlogs ago I don't know I can't remember um, these are the ones that I got from Marshall's I tried them on for y'all that were $15 on clearance and then I just have on some comfy socks because I'm gonna sit and work all day I don't have much going on um, this week at all so I'm gonna have to get really creative for this vlog because I don't want it to be extremely boring but um, so far this is all that's going on today something exciting happens i'll be back hey guys happy tuesday i have sort of halted work today i got a text from someone that has been in what i like to call my COVID bubble since all of this um happened and they may have been exposed to COVID. i had a test scheduled for friday um but it's more urgent now. So I am actually going to go get tested today at one o'clock. I want to get it done so I can have results by weeks in or at least Monday because I have a flight out to St. Louis on Tuesday morning. And I just want to, you know, know if I need to cancel this flight or whatever the case may be. I have been like stress scratching <laughs> because I'm nervous. Don't mind my MA bed um, because I'm nervous. So I have like, a stress scratch where I've just kind of been doing this. Um, I don't have any real symptoms. I did like start sneezing quite a bit on yesterday um, and even a little bit this morning and I have sort of like a sniffle, uh, but nothing else, no fever, no um, aches or anything like that. But I just, I want to make sure that I'm taking all the precaution um, that I need to be taking, especially not going home to visit my family or even getting on a plane where other people are going to be um, without having gotten tested. Yeah, so I just kind of pushed back from work because I can't focus and I'm not doing anything. I actually just <laughs> scored a couple pair of um, essentials leggings that I've been trying to get um, for the longest, but they weren't in the last two drops that they uh, had like they were supposed to. But they came out today, so I was able to get two pairs because PacSun never lets me down. PacSun does what the sneaker apps wish it could do. <laughs> anyway, um, so what I think I'm going to do is I want to shoot a reel tomorrow, and it uh, consists of four looks. So I think since I've just like completely checked out of work for today, I am going to take some time to put those four looks together um, so they'll be prepared for tomorrow and then kind of just chill until it's time for me to go and get tested. So, see you in a okay, bit. Okay, so I just finished putting together the outfits for tomorrow's reel. I popped you up on an iPod, iPod. I tried, I propped you up on my tripod so I can show you um, the outfits that I'm going to wear for the reel tomorrow. So as I said, it consists of four looks and essentially the idea behind the reel is to just show the versatility of my wardrobe, which is hilarious since I pretty much wear the same thing because I have a style uniform, but I think my uniform has a little bit of versatility in it. So I thought it would be cool to sort of show that, especially because my Instagram timeline is full of sneakers and, you know, oversized clothes and things like that. You know, I get sexy sometimes, which ironically, the most like picture right now on my timeline is of me in a skirt with, I mean, in a dress with like cleavage showing and stuff or the amount of cleavage that I have. Anyway, so I just kind of want to show the versatility of what a style uniform can look like. So anyway, so for the first look, I am going to go like super, super sexy for the first look. So I'm just going to wear this Zara oversized blazer with this um, bra. 
I'm gonna button the blazer, but you'll be able to see like the top of the bra peek through and it has like that open detail there, which is really cute. It's by Guilty Intimates. I believe this one is called a conceal bra. I'll double check to make sure, but I love Guilty Intimates. They have three uh, bra styles. I have two of the three. I want to get the third one, which is just like a uh, lacy bra without any underwire, which is my favorite type of bra um, because they're good to wear as like bras, but also as style pieces. And so I'm going to wear that as a top. And then um, on the bottom, I'm going to wear these faux leather trousers from Aritzia and probably just some black um, stiletto boots, like an ankle booty. So that's going to be look one. And then I am going to transition into look two, which of course is going to be a hoodie, this essential hoodies. This oatmeal color one is, I tend to wear this one the most. It has makeup all on it, everything. But I tend to wear this one the most. I don't know why, I just always grab this one um, over the black one, over the cream, crew neck, all of that. This is the hoodie I wear the most, so I'm going to wear that. Um, and then I'm going to wear it with just another pair of leggings, but these are like ribbed leggings and they have the split in the back. So it falls really nicely over whatever shoe you're wearing. And I'm probably just going to wear my Vans because this is how I literally wore this outfit the last time I wore it. Um, and this is pretty much like my throw on outfit. I put it on every time I'm running out of the house to run somewhere with friends and stuff like that. So I definitely had to incorporate this look into the reel. And then on top of this, I'm going to just um, wear my wool overcoat, uh, oversized overcoat from Mango. Um, so that's like a really cool like look. And then I'm going to probably put on a baseball cap because that completes this like dress down, casual, but like cool look. And then, whew, I'll be out of breath. Let me put that back there. And then for the third look, I'm going to go sort of like this, right? But a little more elevated. So like a sexier version of what I have on. Um, you know, I love to show clavicle. I love to show my arms. I love some asymmetry. I love all of that. So I have to put that in the reel. So I'm just going to wear this satin bodysuit from Aritzia. I love this. It has like little ruching at the bottom that sits really cute on top of jeans. Um, and it's fitted. So I'm going to wear that bodysuit. I thought it'll be cute to have just like sort of a, a, a um, muted bodysuit with uh, these jeans because they have that little crisscross detail in the front. And then I'll put on like some open toe sandals as the shoes. Fix my hair, even though you can't see the top of it because it's so big. Um, so this is going to be outfit three. And then for the last outfit, we're going back to my comfort zone, which is sort of like sporty street stylish with just this uh, midriff t-shirt, tiny midriff t-shirt. And then these, um, I've worn these before um, a few times. These faux uh, snake print Nike joggers. I have the uh, Nike blazers with the same print on the swoosh. So I'm going to wear those. And then I'm just going to pair this jean jacket, um, this Levi's jean jacket on top of it. This is definitely another one of those outfits that I would just like throw on when I'm running out the door to meet my friends to run errands or whatever the case may be. So I'm going to put this in there as well. So those are going to be the four outfits. So you have like super sexy, you have like lounge but cool, then you have like muted sexy and then you have like chill streetwear style so hopefully it comes together uh the way that i want it to come together we'll see i'll show you tomorrow without music because i'm always worried that it'll copyright it so anyway that is real preparation people <laughs> hey guys so i have made it to the COVID testing site it's a line but it's not too long um i'm a little nervous Hold on, let me show you my face. <laughs> We've been asked to keep our mask on, so I'm not even gonna take it off um, to vlog. But um, as I was saying, I'm a little nervous. I am not excited about the idea of something being in my nose, but um, I'm here to do it. I'm also a little sad because I had to cancel um, my Thanksgiving plans home. I was gonna go home on Tuesday morning and stay until December 1st, but um as it goes symptoms take about five to 14 days so i'm getting tested today i'm not sure what day it is since i may have been exposed but i'm going to take one today 
I have another one scheduled for Friday, but I still just don't feel comfortable because I don't, it's not the full 14 days. So I'm actually gonna get tested again next week, but I'm going to opt out of going home for Thanksgiving. So I'll be um, in Chicago and then I'll just do a trip home for Christmas. God say the same as my mom used to say. Yeah, so that's where we're at. I'm a little sad because I haven't seen my family. I don't even know how long. And my niece's birthday is Thanksgiving weekend and I was gonna get to be able to be there for her birthday. But not anymore, so yeah. It is what it is. Am I going up or not? You gonna get hit? Why does she have the? Sorry, she has the shadow logo. Right. Well, just you by yourself into the Yes, it's just me. You registered? Yes. Okay, I'll be right with you. Thank you. My friend in these child locks, I don't know how to work these things. I'm so fucking nervous. Hi again. I'm not looking forward to this. You say you what? I'm not looking forward. I am <laughs> well, petrified. Vince. Well, Vince, nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Angela, sorry. I just instantly okay. started complaining. That's yeah, it's going to be all right. <laughs> <laughs> What's your first name? Angela. Angela. Mm -hmm. okay. A N G E L A. Yes. All right, pull up, Angela. Okay. I'm good. How are you? Okay. All right, Miss Angela. We need you to take a breather, okay? <laughs> there you go. What's your uh, your last name? Branch, like tree branch. Catch. Okay. And what's your birthday? Three nineteen eighty four. You said three nineteen eighty four. Eighty four. Yeah. Any symptoms for you? Um, I have a little bit of sneezing. Um, I've definitely been exposed to somebody with gotcha. COVID. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So, that's what I want you to do. Okay. Inhale and exhale out your mouth. It'll help you relax. Okay? <laughs> and it's going to be... That didn't help. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. I want you to do it while I'm testing you. Oh, okay. Duh. <laughs> okay. So, uh, it's going to be a tickle of the nose. I promise I won't stab your brain. Okay? okay. All right. You can take my word. Okay. That way, next time you ever get exposed again, you can come right back to me. Okay. <laughs> All right, go ahead and take your mask down. So breathe at your mouth, okay? Keep breathing. Breathe. Breathe. You got this. There you go. Very good. There you Ooh, go. Ooh, that's uncomfortable. Yeah, it's going to tickle. It's definitely going to tickle. <laughs> <laughs> what? Did I hurt you? No, you didn't. See? Told you. <laughs> So, uh, two to three days, they should be giving contact with you. Okay, cool. Thank right, you. You too. Mm. Woo! Baby! This is a big old car! Hey guys, happy Thursday. I uh, just finished filming that reel that I was talking to you all about yesterday. I'm actually preparing to take the clothes off, full transparency. I haven't even showered, um, but I need to co-wash my hair. And so I didn't want to film the reel with wet hair. So I decided to hop out of bed, film the reel. So I have on makeup, some makeup. I didn't put on a lot. Um, and everything and then I'm about to hop in the shower shower wash my hair so you know anything anything for the Instagrams um, let me show you what I have on before I take it off so uh, this is the you can barely see it but this is the blazer situation I was telling you about so the oversized Zara blazer the guilty intimates bra and then uh, the faux faux leather leggings from Aritzia and then these are just some Zara Sorry, boots. So I'm about to take all of this off, take a shower, put on some more lounge appropriate clothes and make some breakfast and coffee and log into work. Um, I took today off the gym. I'm probably going to take tomorrow. Actually, I'll be taking time off the gym indefinitely depending on what my COVID um, results say. As I said, I was like, exposed to someone, not in like a, a 
dramatic way uh, that tested positive for COVID. Uh, but um, yeah, so I'm waiting on those results. So I'm out of the gym until then and maybe for two weeks, depending on what the results are. So I decided to spend the morning filming a reel. So, all right, I'm gonna let y'all go because I need to get this hair together. So this is my hair post co-wash. It has products in it right now. I'm going to let it air dry. I always let it air dry, especially because I don't have a haircut right now. And so I am actually really welcoming the shrinkage so that it has some shape. Uh, let me show y'all what I use. Hold on. So my favorite conditioner, actually I really like the shampoo too, so I use that, is this Aussie Miracle Moist Conditioner. I use this to co-wash and I use it to condition when I do a full wash on my hair. I just absolutely love it. It's inexpensive. Look, I'm not a, a, a naturalista, so I just, I don't have all of the latest natural products. I just, I've found stuff that works well for me. This is one thing that I absolutely love, so I've been using this for at least the last year or so so this is what i use to co-wash and to condition my hair and then i love this african pride moisture miracle five essential oils i use this like while my hair is soaking wet but i also use it once it dries to like add some shine and moisture to it as well that's product on my fingers by the way um and then i use a mousse this is cantu i let me be quite honest, I am not a fan of Cantu products. For whatever reason, any type of mousse works on my hair and this is the only thing I had in my bathroom so I just used it. Uh, it works fine. Like I said, I can use any mousse. I just cannot use any other Cantu products. They are trash when it comes to my hair. And then the gel that I like to use is the Don't Shrink by Aunt Jackie's. I love this. It elongates the curl a little bit. I still get some shrinkage, but we are welcoming shrink shrinkage right now, as I said, because we don't have a haircut. But um, this does really good at like elongating the curl. So I really like this. It doesn't make your hair hard or crunchy. It doesn't leave a white film. So I use this pretty much exclusively as well. Let's go back to the mirror so what i do is i just uh as i said i co-washed it so i wet it put the conditioner in it got most of the gunk and products out of it let the conditioner sit for a little while and then i rinsed it out while my hair is soaking wet i add the mousse i add a little bit of that oil and then i comb gel through it while it's soaking wet so i don't dry it at all and then i just shake it shake it shake it shake it shake it shake it, shake it and let it air dry and Whatever it looks like after that is what it looks like. I'm fine with it. So that's my little mini hair routine. It's almost 11 o'clock. I haven't done any work. So I have to go. Happy Friday. So it's Friday evening. My neighbors have already started their Friday night dance party. Um, but it's about 5.15, 5.20-ish. So this is my first time picking up the phone to vlog today. I was really busy at work. I'm really proud of myself. I did meet all of my deadlines this week, but I did work really hard this week at them so i'm very proud of myself but i came on to do sort of like a whole foods haul so as i may have mentioned before i am on a quarantine until um, i get tested for coronavirus on this coming wednesday um so i'll be seven days post being exposed to someone who uh, is COVID 19 positive so on wednesday i will go get tested and hopefully that comes back negative. Now, I did get tested on this past Wednesday. Um, however, it was a little early um, in my exposure time, uh, but I was nervous and I just, I had to get it done. Um, so I did need to wait an additional seven days to get tested. So that's what we're waiting on. In the meantime, I am staying quarantined in my house, which means I cannot do my normal Trader Joe's shop on Sunday. So I just ordered some things from Whole Foods to last me for a few days and then I'll order again to last me through Wednesday. Um, I'm going to probably do takeout for Thanksgiving since I can't go home to visit family. Um, and then hopefully by the weekend I, I have a negative test and I'm able to go about shopping um, with a mask and all of that stuff um, next weekend. So anyway, let's get into what I got from Whole Foods. I don't even really know what I got. I just was like putting a bunch of stuff in a cart. Let's just pray that I can make enough like lunches or uh, dinners out of this stuff. So in this first bag, let's see what we got. So in this first bag, I have a maple pecan and feta salad. I'll probably eat that for lunch tomorrow. 
um, no later than Sunday, so it won't wilt to go back, but I have that. That looks pretty good. Did a good job there. I also got a couple of soups. So I have cream of mushroom soup. I love Trader Joe's cream of mushroom soup. So I can get like two servings out of this. So this will last me for a couple meals. I also got their turkey um, and wild rice soup, which I actually like. So that's another couple meals or so. And then I got some almond milk because I ran out. I always get unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I love to uh, put that in my coffee and eat it with like my Cheerios. So had to grab some of that. Let's just throw that on the floor. <laughs> the next thing I got was just some bacon. I had a taste for bacon. So I just put some of that in there. Pork bacon because I eat pork. I know, you know. People don't like to eat pork. I eat pork. I am a like all meat eater. I don't discriminate. I like pork. I don't like turkey bacon. So what else did I get? <laughs> Y'all, no wonder these were a dollar. I thought this was a big bag of chips. I might as well eat these now. Ugh. I'm not gonna put my hand in it. We'll wait, I need to wash my hands. But I thought this was a big bag. Ugh. Okay, so I also got eggs because I love to eat boiled eggs in the morning. Sometimes I'll scramble a couple eggs with a little bit of feta on top and some pepper, so had to get eggs. And then in this last bag, what did we do? In this last bag, I just got a Whole Foods 365 brand Mediterranean pizza. I can eat this like in one swoop for like a lunch or something. So I got that. I also got some broccoli florets because I love to um, use, I have some of that Trader Joe's like frozen rice in there um, that I did not have. So I also bought some rice that I don't need. Um, but I bought some broccoli florets. I like to like make um, fried rice with broccoli and um, the rice and then I'll put a couple eggs in it and then some uh, some soy sauce or like Luca Domino's and then I just make like a fried rice and then I put a little bit of that feta and a little bit of those peppers on top of that too. Tastes good. This is the white rice that I bought because I thought I was out of the Trader Joe's one but that's fine. That means when I go to Trader's uh, next weekend, I won't have to buy any because I have um, some jasmine rice. I prefer jasmine rice. I don't hate brown rice. I just don't like it. And I'm not going to eat it when I don't like it. So I just get jasmine rice. And then I love these little junk food burritos. So I got two. I got two bean burrito and cheese. They my stomach up but <laughs> i like them it takes me back to the days when i was young and we used to pop these in a the microwave and like melt american cheese on top of them and like devour them so i just got a couple to eat and that's it that's my little whole foods haul that should hold me over until tuesday wednesday i'll put another order in to last me through um friday or saturday or so and then i should have my results back and hopefully be in the clear to go about leaving my apartment to do my own shopping and things like that. Yeah, stay safe guys, wear your mask, make sure you're only doing things that you absolutely have to do because as careful as I am, you know, I am still in the point now where I'm having to self quarantine um, and wait to be tested for COVID. So, you know, just do your part to help stop the spread. I'm going to chill out for the rest of the night and I'll talk to y'all sometime this weekend. <laughs>
stretch uh, sort of like warm up workout. I like to use it before I work out as well because it, I feel like it's good for both. Um, I found it on YouTube. It's about seven ish minutes, seven and a half minutes. And I just think it's a really good warm up. So I'll share the link to it in um, the description below. But I have been, my body is like craving activity. I've been out of the gym because we know that I'm on quarantine. So I've been out of the gym um, for since Wednesday. Wednesday was the last day I was in the gym. And I woke up this morning and I'm just like, Angela, you have to get active you have to do something so what I think I'm gonna do is just some body weight exercises I probably won't record it because I don't have a plan so there won't be any rhyme or reason to it it's like not gonna be beneficial for you all to even look at me doing it um but I'm gonna get my body moving this morning and then I don't have any plans at all I'll probably shower have coffee and start season one of the crown Y'all, I finished season four. Like I started at season four because it was about Princess Diana and I'm Diana obsessed. I've probably watched every documentary that's out there to watch. And so I just had to watch this season. It was so good and I hate Prince Charles so much. Prince Charles, you <laughs> old man. And for you, Camilla, Mm. Mm. let's hope you don't lose them how you got them i know it's been years but you never know mm. you know what his cousin's stuff been up to up in the royal family so i wouldn't put it past him either anyway i'm gonna start at season one because season four was so good so i'll probably spend my day binging tv if i want to be completely honest but i'm gonna stop talking now because i don't want to cool down too much and get to to working out talk to y'all later Hey guys, happy Monday. It's pretty late in the morning. It's about 10.30-ish. Um, I've been like full steam ahead with work, but I got a couple packages that I ordered um, at the end of last week over the weekend in. And so I thought since I am about to open them, I might as well open them with you and then close out the vlog. The last time we talked was Saturday morning. I told y'all I don't have anything planned because I'm in quarantine at least until this Friday um, when I get test results from... Wednesday's COVID test that I have scheduled. So I literally just binged The Crown on um, both Saturday and Sunday. So I finished season four, um, which I mentioned, and then I just finished season one. So I feel like those episodes are so long. Like, I know it's just like 45 minutes, but those are like the longest 45 minutes of my life. Good thing that it is an extremely good show. So I'm gonna start season two today at work and just binge through two and three for the rest of the week. Um, but anyway, let's open these packages and close out this vlog because I don't have anything else to show y'all. I have some more packages coming in this week. So I'm assuming that's what we'll open up next week's vlog with. So anyway, I got two packages so far. Oh, um, I got half of an order that I got from Walmart and it's just like some house stuff because I can't, can you see my address? Ooh. I can't um, leave the house to get like toiletries and things as I run out of them. Normally I would just like run to Walgreens and spend way too much money on this stuff individually. But I put in an order for all of the things that I was running out of. Um, and it came up to like $40. I'm like, I probably need to start doing this just in general because I swear to God, it would have been like so much more if I would have gotten um, this stuff from um, Walgreens as I typically do. I mean, there's a Target close to me, but girl, I don't be on the walk all the way to Target sometimes. So, you know, Walgreens is just close. Way more expensive, but it's close. Anyway, so I got half of this order. I think the other half of this Walmart order is, order is coming. <laughs> Child, that Midwest, East St. Louis, St. Louis accent just, it kills me. It kills me, but I decided I'm gonna stop. Like I do so much like editing and or like rephrasing or re-saying things, and I'm just like, they're about to get this accent. Anyway, um, half of the order came today, and then the other half will come. Girl, <sighs> hold on. Let me use this knife. Oh, I didn't cut anything. Um, the other half will come on tomorrow. So, okay, we know what my strong suit will be, and that is going to be unboxing. Like, I'm going to have to pre-open boxes before I do unboxing from here on out, because she's struggling. Okay, <laughs> so it's just a random hodgepodge of stuff, too. 
So I got a box of Cheerios because I was running out of my Trader Joe O's and I'm gonna need some more before the end of the week. So I got those. What else came in this water? <laughs> some Drano. I ordered some Drano because I use so much oil and stuff on my body um, because of my skin lupus. My skin gets really dry. So I use layers and layers of oil. And I swear to God, I have to like put Drano in my tub like at least twice a month because of all the grease, I guess that goes down the drain, it gets clogged up. Um, I don't even wash my hair in the bathroom. I wash my hair in the kitchen sink because I have like this little strainer that catches it really well in here. Um, so it's not hair, it's literally the oil from my body. But anyway, so I got that because I'm in dire need of this right now. And then the last thing that came in this packet is some stevia, like I, uh, stevia, Truvia, which is stevia. I like to use this to sweep my coffee and tea and stuff like that. So I typically get the little packets, but this was cheaper. They didn't have like the 30 pack. They only had like 80 and 100 packs. And I just was like, girl, I should probably buy it, but I, the sticker, it was sticker shock. So I got this one. And that's all, that's all that came in this order. The other order has some mousse for my hair. Um, some um, honey pot. I like to use the foamy wash and a couple of things. I don't know. Like I said, we'll unbox it uh, starting for next week's vlog. And then the second package came from PacSun. Um, they Essentials did another drop. Like they've been dropping their fall winter stuff in like increments. So not all of the stuff that's supposed to be there has been there. Um, I think I saw on Jerry's, Jerry, like I know him, but I think I saw on Jerry Lorenzo's page that they were having production issues like most places, uh, like most brands right now. So um, they've been releasing it in increments. And so the leggings that I wanted to get finally came. So I think I'm done. I think I'm done um, for fall winter. So the leggings that I really wanted in the fall winter drop finally were available to get. And I was able to get a couple pair off of PacSun because PacSun never lets me down. Um, and they came in on today as well. So I'm just going to open one pair and um, take a look at them. So yeah. These are the leggings. They're just like, they're very remote. You can't see. You can't see. Let me see. Hold on. Let me pull down. So they're very reminiscent of these Nike leggings I have on. Um, not too much different. Pretty much feels like the same fabric. They have the essentials um, branding across the band and then again on the legs. And then they're long. So they're right up my alley. Let me pull you back up here. So yeah, they're right up my alley. I'm not gonna try them on. They're medium, I'm sure they fit. Um, and yeah, so that's all that I have right now. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here, as I said, and I will pick up on tomorrow for next week's vlog. Anyway, thank you again for watching. If you enjoy my vlogs or my videos, if you haven't checked out my videos, go check out my videos. Um, let me know by leaving a comment, uh, subscribing, sharing the channel with your friends. Um, I am this close to buying a camera. When I say this close, I mean like within the next week or so. So I'm so excited to elevate my content creation. Um, anyway, thank you again for watching and I'll talk to you next week.